And this leads at this hour. A Zanian People's Organization is picketing at Belinda Magor's residence in uh, Boxburg. Magor's voice note on her defense of uh, pit bulls went viral on social media last week. She was arrested on Saturday after a criminal case was reported against her. Magor is expected to appear in court in March next year. This is after she was released on warning for allegedly calling black people rapists, thieves, and calling for them to be killed. For more on this, let us now bring in our senior reporter, Criselda Lewis. Criselda, um, the Azanian People's Organization has been trying with uh, great earnesty to, to, to really access the inside of that complex, or rather speak to Belinda Magor themselves, believing that uh, she is in that complex. What progress are they making? And what are you hearing, particularly from residents in the area as well? <laughs> Well, not only over the past uh, few moments, uh, we tried to speak to some of the residents uh, at this complex. They claim that uh, they don't know of any Belinda McGaw that lives here. This is despite uh, on the internet um, her indicating that uh, her place of work is inside this uh, particular complex. Uh, that's how it certainly does appear on the internet. You would see that uh, some of uh, the residents who were here uh, just the other side of this gate have now left and they are adamant that they don't know who she is. Uh, you know, as Apo says, uh, they're not going to tolerate a, a racist in this country. The remarks that she made uh, are uh, remarks that need to be dealt with. Uh, this is not the first time this has happened in this country where black people have been insulted and racist comments uh, that have been made. Uh, you would see members of uh, Azapo carrying uh, some placards, blackness will not be outlawed by white racism. In some of them, the apartheid flag is a spit on the face of a black people and Belinda belongs in the trash can as uh, what you will see on uh, some of those. Uh, but at this particular point, uh, the uh, residents from inside here who managed to come and engage uh, with the picketers have indicated that uh, they don't know who Belinda is, uh, uh, despite, of course, what I have indicated. And... Uh, you know, at this particular stage, I think, uh, you know, from where we are standing, some security had also been brought in. If you take a look towards that direction, some of the security has also been brought in here uh, to ensure, because uh, this uh, complex is uh, right across the road from a school, so the security had been brought in here. Uh, to ensure that the picketers are also uh, picketing uh, peacefully. They are certainly are peaceful at this particular stage. And uh, we expect, of course, uh, at this particular stage for it to continue uh, that way. And, uh, you know, um, many of the placards here saying we won't tolerate racism and racist as well. Racism is, is a spit on the face uh, of... Uh, let me have a look at this. Is that, yeah. Racism is a spit on uh, the on our hospitality. Is that uh, is what one of those uh, placards is saying? So I guess at this particular point, without uh, being able to access these premises, not much is going to take place from this particular point. But many calls you would have heard in our earlier interview with Azapo indicating that they had already opened a case of criminal injury as well as um, you know incitement to violence. Uh, against uh, Belinda Magor, and they're saying they're hoping for an arrest anytime soon. This would be, uh, from my knowledge, the second uh, case that has been opened against her. The other uh, that has also been opened of criminal injuria. Uh, she had been arrested and then had been released on warning. Uh, but it certainly seems like, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, the anger, uh, you know, of uh, uh, black South Africans. Uh, over these racist comments that have been made. Uh, when we spoke to some of uh, the residents uh, inside here, they said they had not seen uh, the, the clip itself. And uh, the picketers uh, here at Azapo uh, showed them what the clip had actually said. And uh, from inside, the other side of the gates, they indicated uh, that they were appalled by the comments uh, that she had made. And uh, they certainly cannot uh, be condoned. But a lot more has been called for in this particular instance where, uh, uh, you know, calls for Belinda McGaw to face the full might of the law. And uh, if that does not happen, uh, you know, uh, picketers or protesters such as uh, those from Azapo uh, that are here believe that those uh, individuals who continue to make uh, such uh, distasteful comments 
uh, will not be deterred if uh, you know serious action is not taken against uh, individuals such as Belinda Mabo. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's, it certainly is one thing to see the picketers outside there making the statement, um, and one wonders, you know, whether or not we'll be seeing similar pickets. How long do they intend on being out there, considering that they're hearing from residents that Melinda, uh, Belinda McGaw does not live in that complex? What is the intention now by Azapa moving forward? Look, initially, uh, they indicated they'll be here, uh, they'll be out here until about uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, so I don't know what the uh, plan of action. I'll ask my colleague, Tulo Monare, to stay on those visuals and perhaps I can bring in uh, Keke Leto once again. Keke Leto, uh, let me just get your comments from what we're hearing from residents inside that Belinda McGaw does not stay here. What is the plan of action now uh, going forward? Uh, that's the claim, certainly, that they're making, despite what we saw on the internet. Um, look, uh, it's obvious that sometimes people hide racists. It's, uh, it's a normal state of affairs in South Africa. We are not shocked by the fact that um, they're also not letting us in here to go and see for ourselves um, that Belinda doesn't live here. But I think uh, wherever Belinda is uh, and wherever the racists are, they know that we have sent a warning shot to them that they are not welcome in our country and that at, at any given point should there actually be a racist utterance in this country we will come personally to your house to your company wherever you are we will drag you out and we will take you to the airport i'm not sure who's going to have you but you will not have a home in our country anymore we are done dealing with racists we are done with the i'm sorry it's not working you can't hurt us like this anymore we are tired you did it to our parents, you did it to our grandparents. We are here to tell you that enough is enough and we're going to chase you out of our country. We're done. Kekele Sukina, thank you very much, the Deputy President of Azapo. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, residents at this complex saying that Belinda Magor does not live here. Uh, but, uh, you know, a stern message being sent out there uh, to anyone uh, who may be involved in such distasteful uh, comments uh, that have been made. Uh, Azapo saying, of course, they acknowledge this, but this is not the first time that this has happened in this country. And, um, you know, Azapo saying they're done dealing with, with uh, racists. If you hate black people, get out of Azania, you would see as one of the comments there. Naledi? Yeah, Chriselda, thank you so much for that update. Chriselda Lewis speaking to us there from Boxburg where those pickets are taking place after what is allegedly a racist uh, uh, voice recording in a WhatsApp group called Pitbulls Be My Voice where allegedly Belinda McGaw sent a voice note where in it she also says, I'm very passionate about this. Ban them, kill them, shoot them, get rid of them because they are the problem, not pitbulls, not animals. Um, she's alleged to have gone further to say animals are beautiful and they deserve a warm bed, food, love, attention and everything else. God created those animals. Who created the black man? Do you think God? I don't think so. Those are uh, the words allegedly shared in that voice note. We're going to continue looking at that story. Do stay with SABC News.